Dear Daily Mail, we've got beef. Hi guys and welcome to today's YouTube video. Um, so I didn't plan a video for this week but little did I know what would come up. It's so funny. I don't even know where to start. I have so much to say. So first of all, I actually do not want to make this a lot more drama than it already is or than it actually is because actually there is no drama. That's just the media that made a huge article about it that made drama. And if you don't know what happened, I'm going to tell you right now. So yesterday, 26th, 26th of December, I got an email from the Daily Mail that said, Hey, um, are you alright if we use your video in one of our articles? And I didn't respond because I was working and I just... I didn't even know the Daily Mail before they sent me an email. Well, now I know. And when I got off, I checked my social media and one comment on one of my Instagram posts, which was really random. I'm going to blend that in if you want to see it and read through it. basically said that I shouldn't judge people so quickly. Back then I thought it was related to the videos because I was like, oh yeah, she must have seen the video where I like say that I find um, so many people here do fake tan. Um, and I even said that I do not mind people doing fake tan. I fake tanned myself. And I said that like 500 times in the video and I was like, she must have really misunderstood that. Like. She must have really, really misunderstood that and I responded to her very kindly and she deleted her comment. Anyways, after that I received heaps and heaps of new followers, new subscribers, like not that many. I think I gained like 100 new followers now, which isn't a lot, like, you know, I'm still a small account. Even my YouTube has 600 people watching it. That's not many and that's very, very small, so... You know, I'm a very, very tiny account. Anyways, so I received all those, like, um, subscribers and stuff and people saying, like, weird stuff about me and, like, responding. And I was like, hold on, there is something wrong. Um, so I checked the Daily Mail because I was like, they said something about me in an article. So I checked the Daily Mail, which I've never done before. I saw this really, really frustrating article about me, which was just very very disgusting and I did not like it. I freaked out a little bit when I first saw it because I was like what the heck? I did not plan on going anywhere. I did not ask for this. I did not ask for anyone to like put me out there like the worst person on planet earth. And it says I am slammering Australian tradition in my video. It says I find Australia weird and disgusting. So what they did, like, you know, the media, they take one word that you say and then they put it in a bad way. We all learned about this in school. We all know about it. But I was like, I've got 600 subscribers. Like, why do you actually, why do you even care about me? Um, and then that article, like the headline was really, really, really rude saying like that I find Australia disgusting. Basically, that's what it says. And then like the first first few like lines are everything that I find disgusting and weird about Australia. And then the article says, oh, she actually doesn't mind those things at all. And she doesn't want to be offensive. She also says that in her video, but we don't care. Let's take this little girl and put her out there so everyone can hate on her on Facebook. Like that's basically what Cindy Tran did. Like she wrote the article and I don't... You know, you used all of my photos on my social media, you used my video, you used my words and twisted them. You probably don't care. I actually called the Daily Mail this morning. I called the person that wrote me this email and I responded to their email. I was like, hey, would you mind taking that article down? It's definitely not my what my intention was. My intention was to create a video that points out the differences between two cultures, which is what I do videos about and which is what I do post about to my small group of little followers that actually enjoy watching that because they find it relatable or they have experienced the same kind of things. So Cindy Tran wrote this article about me and 
the article itself is fine i don't mind the article um because it basically oh the art, it's just so stupid it's just so stupid like she talks about me liking australian tap water who the, who like no offense to myself but like no one cares no one cares all of those angry people on facebook do they care they apparently didn't even read the article as well they apparently didn't even watch the video and if they did like i'm sorry but there was nothing offensive on it it's like me pointing out that this bottle is red and this bottle bottle and this bottle is Pur purple i was like gonna say blue and this bottle is purple and then people on facebook being like you can't say that that one's red that's very rude yeah me pointing out differences in different cultures so i guess anyone that commented like really really nasty stuff on that article on facebook must have probably never left their country or like traveled anywhere and not experienced any cultural differences like Germany and France are different. Germany and the UK are different. Okay, I don't, I won't go into that too deep about like how that's not offensive because it is not, it's not offensive. And I feel like this lady that wrote this article about me, she was like, oh, she must have had a really low day at the office. Like that's what one of my followers said. That was, I found that very funny. So I'm gonna quote him um, because she saw that video and she heard me saying, I do not want to offend anyone. And she took that, I don't want to offend anyone and took my pictures from my Instagram and one or two of the words of a 10 minute long video and made an article about it. Um, so people would find the things that I say offensive. What really really annoys me is just that those people that comment on Facebook I actually don't care about the comments because I know there are so many people out there supporting me I've got hundreds and hundreds of messages telling me oh honey the Daily Mail is shit you should not listen to that and I was like yeah well but there are so many bullies out there um, anyways the Daily Mail apparently just posts really really rubbish articles um, no offense, but that's what I got told. There were so many people finding it so ridiculous making an article about my video because it's not offensive at all. Um, and yeah, so now I'm just... And yesterday when I saw that article, I was like, all right, on their page is no like comment on it. The comments are on their Facebook article. And I went through a couple of their comments and I was like, shit. These are some nasty comments. Like they are so, so rude and really, they are, not only are they like racist, but they are also sexist and they are very just, it's basically cyberbullying. And I just find it so sad that the person that put this article out there, like Cindy Tran, she puts it out there and is willing to get a person like cyber bullied honestly like if you put something out there that says slammering australian traditions and finds australia weird and disgusting like you're the daily mail you know what people on facebook are all about don't tell me you didn't know oh that's unfortunate we didn't expect that so if you are um a journalist no matter where you are from if you want to take a look at those comments and um make a case study about cyberbullying and sexism and racism on the internet feel free to do it at least if you as long as you like don't blame me for it because i i just didn't do anything wrong and i just hate that people put me out it's just annoying it's just annoying <laughs> go home to germany stupid girl and honestly i know that's not that's not too bad but if you get them like a lot and a lot and people like actually address them to you without knowing who you actually are that's very frustrating and that makes me really angry because people don't know who i am and they probably have not looked at any of my videos and i just find it so frustrating that someone takes my picture and puts it out there with a like bad reputation out of context 
and people will believe that. I actually responded to their email saying if they would please put the article down because I just don't like getting heaps of hate comments. I don't think anyone would. Um, I also called them. I think this person's name was like Matt or something and he can't do anything about it apparently. That has to be Cindy. But like, you know, she's not in the office at the moment, but she will respond as soon as she gets here. And I don't doubt that. I hope she does. I hope she takes the article down because I get a lot of hate for no reason. And, you know, if you would have made an article about me, why wouldn't you have chosen like something like, oh, those are some funny things someone from the other side of the world pointed out about our country. She's not offended by them. She finds them kind of funny, so that's why she made a video about it. But, you know, I know that people want to create drama. It's just I don't like that on my cost. Like, literally, the least thing I wanted with my YouTube is called drama because I am not a fan of drama. I hate drama. Definitely not a fan of judgment when i first read the comments they made me cry i was so shook shook i was shook <laughs> it took me a lot of conversation with normal people that actually react kindly to what i was saying people keep saying i hate australia and i'm like honey i would not have come back i would not have come i don't even know if that's right have been coming back to australia if i didn't like it i am studying at the moment and you know how much it costs if you are australian you probably know um and in germany i would probably get most of it for free if i hated australia i would have definitely stayed back in germany but i don't because i'm open to new cultures and i like the heat and i like that australians walk around barefoot well not and ne not necessarily that there has been some really bad stuff about germans and stuff like um say what you want about Australia but at least we didn't gas up people and I was like Germans hate when you make jokes about their history because we are really ashamed of that and we don't like it but also don't get me started on your history like have you read anything about Australian history people from I don't know Britain or somewhere literally came to Australia to kill aboriginals and then take their land that's really really sad and that's really crazy and the history about Germany is really sad and really crazy but it's been everywhere on the world and I just hate when people do those separations be between between races you know like we're just people we are the same so if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and thank you so much for all of your support thank you for everybody who's there for me and like talks to me and is just a kind soul on this earth Thank you so much. Um, I appreciate you watching this video. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed the drama. Um, have a nice day. Bye.